Aí, oi, é, bebê. Welcome to Chef Market Cage Kitchen. God dang. Hey, look here. It's a little cool out here, but today I decided to do something a little different. I'm making my little cornbread in a Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven, and I'll be cooking on coals. So, hey, this video, watch it from the beginning. We'll get the pot prepared. Then we'll work on the mixing our ingredients. Then we'll work on the putting coals down there and setting that pot up and getting it going right. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you later. Aye, oh yeah, baby. Take it easy. Dang, boy, it's cool out here. Ah. All right. Let me go ahead and get my... Right. Now, here's where we're going to start at, right here. I've already got my parchment paper fixed up inside here, inside my pan. Kind of noisy out here today, but hey, I'll get with it anyhow. Anyway, I need one, we're going to use one cup of flour, all purpose. Do mix my dry ingredients first. One cup of cornmeal. Yeah, it's gonna be good, baby. All right. I got a half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, yeah. Baking powder, one tablespoon. It's gonna be a, the cornbread from heaven. Hot dang. And I got two tablespoons of sugar, because I like mine a little bit sweet. All right, gonna mix this real good. Now today I'm gonna be cooking this cornbread. I'll be making it in my uh, Dutch oven, my cast iron Dutch oven outside on coals. I'm not really, really excellent on this type of cooking. However, I will be able to make a cornbread out here and drink a few beers and just relax and keep an eye on it until it's done. And I tell you what, just the flavor from cooking outside is something else. It's always good. All right, I've got my dry ingredients mixed pretty well. Now I'm gonna put my wet ones. I'm using a cup of evaporated milk today. 
instead of regular milk. I've got one egg. You go, baby. And a quarter cup of peanut oil instead of regular old vegetable oil. Because I love cooking with peanut oil. And you know, you don't have to buy the whole gallon at one time, though. I buy the little bitty co uh, container, the small container. I don't even think it's a quart, but it lasts me a long time, and it's not that expensive. Let me get a grip on this bowl, because I got to do some heavy duty stuff here, baby. I right, dang. Look at that. That is going to be awesome. This is a beautiful, beautiful cornbread mix. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that cotton. Yes indeed. All right, now, I'm going to pour that mixture into my Dutch oven pot. Right in the center. There you go. It's coming out great. Gonna be good. And I got my parchment paper in there because I don't want this, and it's well oiled because I don't want this sticking to my pot. And I want it to cook good. Okay. Now I'm just gonna let this set for a while. Cover it and let it set for a while. I'll see you after a while. Let me go get my coals together. All right. Let that roll. Now you want to put a few coals on top. Because you want your top of your cornbread to cook also. And it doesn't have to cook real fast, so Let's put one more up here. And it's a cool day, so it's going to take a little while for all this to get done. But hey, I got nothing else but time on my hands. Let it do this thing, baby. All right, let's see what it's looking like in there. It's been uh, 10 minutes. And I can't keep it on can't take the top off too often uh, can't pick it up too often but uh, you know, I'll give you an idea of what's happening it's been about 10 minutes so I got four coals on top got about five or six on the bottom and I'm going to raise this up a little bit see how she's getting okay I'm going to cover it back alright she's starting to rise alright but now I'm going to move my coals over Right there. And that's good. I'm going to leave that alone. And leave it like that for about 15 minutes. But right now, I want to turn my. And right now, I want to turn my pot so I can get a. Try to stay pretty even with my coals at the bottom. I'm 
right there. That's good enough. All right, it's been on 30 minutes. Let me see what's going on in here. First thing I want to do is turn my pot. Okay. And let me just see what's going on in here. Oh, yeah, she's still cooking, baby, rising and drying out. Now I'm going to turn my coals. And I'm not going to raise it up again for at least 30 more minutes. It's just taking its time. Don't forget, this is not a fast cook. This is if you're out here and you really want to be a, a Dutch oven type cooker, cooking on coals. And hey, let me tell you what, it's fun. And the people you meet at Louisiana Dutch Oven Society and the people you meet at Cook With Coals are awesome. If you're around Louisiana, hook up with the Cajun Creole cookers. Out of, they cook out of St. Martinville. If you're out of Abbeville, hook up with the Latanya cookers. They're out of Abbeville. All right, let's check it out. Been on about an hour now. Been turning it every 10 or 15 minutes. Oh yeah, the top's starting to brown up. The sides is pulled away. I think the bottom is done. I'm getting ready to take this rascal off. Look how beautiful, how beautiful that is. That is a beautiful, ooh -hoo, ooh -hoo, ooh -hoo. I tell you what. That's why I love parchment paper. Oh yeah, the bottom is perfect. All right, let me get something to put that on. This baby's ready to come out. Been cooling off a while. Looks awesome. Let me tell you what. This is good, Shaft. I love it. God, it's so good. Let me tell you one thing. The peanut oil, evaporated milk, that does it for me. This is good. How beautiful and brown! Look how beautiful and golden that is! Oh my God! Want something to do in the backyard? You want to go camping? Go do it. Put you on a pot of chili. Make your cornbread. Do it my way. Hey, it's Jeff Bucket. I'll talk to you later. Ah, yeah, baby. Come on, sissy. Let's go.